today we got a nice example of a single family home for sale in Oak Park. Check this one out. This one is a four square home, supposed to be real nice on the inside. Three bedrooms, two bathrooms. Let's see what's going on and of course, let's see how much it costs. All right, front steps look okay. I like the front entry door, but let's see what's going on inside. And here we go. Okay, got the staircase going upstairs. Got this, got this little doorway that I guess goes down to the basement and a side door. We'll check that out later too. But so far, everything in here is clean. Hardwood floors look good. Nice paint job. Good open space. Uh, actually, the floor needs a little bit of little bit of sanding right here. It's nicely lived in. That's all that means. Check out the chandelier. Uh oh. As I look up, though. Something's clearly going on right here in the ceiling. There's some sort of water damage going on. So I'm going to guess there's a bathroom above this room. So that's something that needs to be looked into. That's a shame too because everything in here so far is looking beautiful. Then these are the uh, doors leading to the patio. Let's, let's go back here. Since we are here. Nice back porch. Nice big backyard. Got the two car garage. Now let's check up. Every, every time I look up, it's just, it's just upsets me because everything else so far just looks so nice. But then you have this ceiling water damage. And then you come, oh, what happened here? The hardwood floors that are so nice everywhere else just buckled over here, so we'll have to go in the basement to see what happens here. Ah, yeah, this one, as beautiful as everything else looks, it's gonna need some work. And then, oh yeah, you look up here, there's a lot of water damage going on in here, so something happened upstairs and Something happened in the basement as well. But we got another little back porch, little enclosed back porch area back here. Okay, everything else in this kitchen just looks great. And then bam, you got this. Let me know in the comments what you think happened to this floor, what will make it buckle up like this. Normally when I see this, there's a, a steam radiator pipe below and that pipe burst. And when that pipe bursts below the floor, this happens. But this building doesn't look like it has radiators. It has vents, so I don't know. We'll have to, we'll have to explore. So I thought I was gonna see a nice rehabbed home, but instead I see a home that on one hand looks very nice, but on the other hand, something is going on here, especially with water damage. And now, instead of just looking at the rest of a nice home, I feel like I'm investigating to figure out where these issues are coming from. So, let's go to the second floor. Let's see what's going on up there. Uh, they can't all be perfect, you know? Let's check out this second floor. See what's going on up here. Now let's just check the ceiling because I'm paranoid now. But flooring in here looks nice. Good size bedroom number one. We've got the bathroom. Not too bad, not too shabby. We've got bedroom number two. So a good size, and oh, what's going on here? Oh yeah, maybe something's going on with the roof. Let's look at all, oh, that's just, yep. Something's definitely going on with the roof. 
And I also wonder if this bathroom is over the spot in the ceiling downstairs where we saw that water damage. That's what I'm guessing. But we have bedroom number three, which this bedroom is smaller, but it leads to the back porch with more crust on the floor, more water damage. Yeah, I'm not a betting man, but I would bet that this roof pretty much needs to be replaced. And to be honest, everything else in this home looks so nice and freshly updated. The hardwood floors, except for that one spot, look pretty good. Like, there are plenty of updates in this property, but the roof has just gone bad. And also, they need batteries in the smoke alarm, but the roof has just gone bad. And if you let one major thing like the roof go bad, you see all the damage it can do. Let's see what's going on in the basement. So you guys let me know in the comments, how much do you think a roof like this will cost to completely fix or replace? And also, if you're looking to buy or sell in the Chicago area, feel free to reach out to me and I'd be happy to email you a list of properties for sale. All right, let's check out the basement and to get down here, I imagine you remove this. Okay, there we go. Ouch. All right. We've got carpeting down here. At least it's nice and bright. And I uh, haven't seen this in a while, but we've got carpeted basement which everything looks clean but then again what is that uh, if i were a bedding man once again it's probably water and yeah it looks like at one point it was very clean but you also see small signs of just little water spots you also see some down here yeah you see some all over the baseboard so when you're looking in the basement those are the things you need to look for so you see you see all the all the little brown marks all along the wood trim and then you can see right here you can see how high the water most likely rose at one point and that's a shame because they also have carpet down here. Well, the carpet doesn't smell moldy, so maybe they just replaced the carpet. So we've got the bathroom, which once again is not bad. There's <sighs> just a lot of water going on. And this looks like laundry area. You got your washer dryer. Mechanicals look pretty good actually. And yeah, it doesn't smell moldy or anything down here, but you can tell at least at one point there's some water damage down there and maybe they fixed the issue of the water damage but just never replaced what was damaged. Huh, either way though, it kind of makes you skeptical, doesn't it? All right, so for this property in Oak Park, three bedrooms, two bathrooms, obviously the roof is gonna need a lot of work and you're also gonna need to repair that hardwood flooring in the kitchen. How much does a property like this go for? Currently, this property is for sale for $500,000. If you think that's expensive, especially seeing the repairs that need to be made in the home, you have to remember that, hey, it's Oak Park. Homes cost a little bit more here. Let me know in the comments once again how much you think it'll cost to make all the repairs needed to make this home livable. And of course, if you're looking to buy or sell in Chicago, feel free to reach out to me.